Question number three from this January 2024 International A-Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P3 paper. Here we have a question which is about the amount of money raised for a charity which is being monitored. The total amount raised in the T months after monitoring began, which is called D uh, pounds, all right, so the total amount is D pounds in pounds, okay, it's not like thousands of pounds or anything like that, it is modeled by the equation, the log to the base 10 of D equals 1.04 plus 0.38 T. Write this equation in the form D equals A times B to the power of T, where A and B are constants to be found, give each value to four significant figures. Okay, so that's something which is normally we write to 3SF if it's not stated, but it's stated, so we have to remember that. Don't just go on autopilot and write it at three. You have to remember what the question asked. So we're going to take this expression, which is D equals A times B to the power of T, and we're going to rewrite it in this form, and then we can be able to compare what is what and find the values of what we need. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take log to the base 10 of both sides. And the reason why I've chosen to take log to the base 10 is because what we have formed here is, or what I have given, been given here is in terms of log to the base 10. So, of course, that's why we should do that. So, we have log to the base 10. I'm going to write it here because it's written, but you don't really have to write the base 10 when you've got these log questions. Because when you have just, if you just said log D, it means log to the base 10 by default. If there's no base written, it means to the base 10. And I'm going to take log to the base 10 of the other side of the equation as well. So log to the base 10 of A, B to the power of T. All right. So now I'm going to split this up so that it looks like this. Now remember, this is not A, B all to the power of T. So I can't use the power law until I've split this up into two separate parts. So we're going to use the laws of logarithms to split this up. So one of the mistakes people make is they will say, all right, multiply this t multiplies by the whole of the log. No, it doesn't, because the t is only the power of the b. The a is, doesn't, it's not like in a big bracket here. It's not a, b, all to the power of t. It's a times b to the power of t. So before we can do anything with this t, we have to split this into two logarithms using the law, the log of p times q is equal to the log of p plus the log of q. Okay, this is the, addition or multiplication law, you can say. So we're going to split this up as log to the base 10 of D equals log to the base 10 of A plus log to the base 10 of B to the power of T. Now we can use the power law for this. We can write T times log to the base 10 of B. So you have log to the base 10 of D equals log to the base 10 of A plus T times log to the base 10 of B. Now we can compare that with what we have been given and we can try to work out what is what, okay? So what we can do here is we can compare, this is the same as this, log to the base 10 of D, that's fine. Now we have here T times log to the base 10 of B and we have log to the base 10 of A. So this is like the constant, this is like this part over here. So let me just um, highlight that. So this corresponds to that part. And we can say that this 0 0.38 is what's multiplying the t. They correspond to each other. Okay, so I can say that log to the base 10 of a is equal to 1.04. And I can say log to the base 10 of b is equal to 0 0.38. Okay, so now what we can do is we can rewrite this in index form. As we know, log to the base p of q equals r. We can rewrite this as p is the base, r is the power, and q is the result. So we have 10 is the base, 1.04 is the power, and a is the result. Similarly here, we can write um, 10 to the power of 0 0.38 equals b. 10 to the power of 0 0.38 equals b. So we can say here a is equal to and we can work out that's going to be 10 to the power of, so we can take the calculator, 10 to the power of 1.04, 10 to the power of 1.04, 
that gives us 10.9647, 10.9647. Um, let's just write a couple more. 781 continues on. And B is going to be 10 to the power of 0 0.38. So we're going to have 10 to the power of 0 0.38. And that gives us 2.398832. 2.398832. Okay, it continues on. All right, so we have found the value of A and B, but we must write the answers to four, did it say significant figures? Four significant figures. So here, the first significant figure is the one. So you have one, two, three, four, so it stops here. So A is going to be 10.96. And here B, four significant figures, one, two, three, four. So you have 10, 2.399. So there's the answer for A and B of question number three. Then it says, when T equals capital T, the total amount of money raised is 45,000 pounds. According to the model, find the value of T, giving your answers to three significant figures. So the model now, um, I think it's probably easier. We could use either, actually. We could use this, um, we could use this D equals AB to the power of T if you want to. Although that's probably more difficult because you've got to find the value of t. So I think the easiest thing to do actually is to use this form of it here. Okay, otherwise we're going to have to do all these logarithms anyway to find what t is. It's already done for us here. So let's just take log to the base of d. So we'll just put the formula as it is. Log to the base of d is equal to uh, log to the base 10 of a. So it's log to the base 10 of a, which is 10.96. Okay, um, I'll write it to slightly better degree of accuracy. Okay, so I have that better answer there. And then um, plus t times log to the base 10 of b. Plus t times log to the base 10 of b, which is 2.399832 continues. You can just write it to a few more decimal places. And we have to find what t is. Okay, this is times t. This is times t. So now we know that when, when time equals capital T, at that point, d is equal to 45,000. So we can say log to the base 10 of 45,000 is equal to log to the base 10 of 10.964 plus capital T times log to the base 10 of 2.399832. Okay, so we, we've got to find what t is. So we're going to subtract these. So we'll have log to the base 10, running out of space, but we've got enough to, to finish this off, of 45,000 minus log to the base 10 of 10.9647 divided by you have log to the base 10 of 2.399832, and that will give us our answer. That's going to be capital T. And we'll find the answer, and we'll round it to 3SF. So let's just put this in our calculators. So um, I can store this actually as A. Okay, I can go back to this answer. I can store this as B. Okay, so this is B here, and this is A here. All right, so that's in my calculator. So now I'm going to make a fraction, log to the base 10. So I don't have to use log to the base 10, I can just use log. Okay, when it has log without any base, it means the base 10. 45,000 minus log, okay, of, this is B in my calculator. So I will put alpha and B. Okay, divided by log of what I've called A. So log of A. All right, so that's log of 45,000 minus log of this answer divided by the log of the other answer that we got. And we got now that's equal to 
9.50845. Therefore, T is equal to, to 3SF 9.51. That's the value of T. Okay, find the value of T. All right, that's the total amount of money. Uh, that's the time it takes to raise that money, and that time would be in in um, months. Okay, but we don't have to write that. Just write, it says find the value of T. Okay, so 9.51, and there is the answer to the question. Um, question number three, A and B. What about C, zero C? There is a C, okay. So then it says the charity aims to raise a total of 350,000 within the first 12 months of monitoring according to the model, determine whether or not the charity will achieve its aim. So let's take some information from the previous part of the question. So we have D equals A times B to the power of T. Let's use this D equals A times B to the power of T. So we want D to be um, 35,000. And that's equal to A, whoops, away, A, which was um, 10.96, 10.96 times B, which is 2.399, 2.399 to the power of T. Okay, so we want this to be to, true. So let's see if the charity will be able to achieve its aim. Okay, let's put t equals 12. When t equals 12, let's find what d is. So let's just, just put, okay, find out what happens when d equals 12. Okay, so when t equals 12. So if I put t equals 12 in here, so I have 10.96 times 2.399 to the power of 12, we get 39,000, 300, has to be 350,000, yeah, 398,266, 398,266, 266, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so we can see that when T equals 12, T equals 12, okay, we get this much. So it seems like within the first 12 months, you'll receive, you'll achieve it. If you, if you get, if we change this to 11 even, 166,000, yeah, so it's going to be less, but by the end of the 12 months, you should have raised that amount, okay? So you can say yes. According to the model, it will achieve its aim. Okay, because thirty-nine thousand two hundred sixty-six is greater than the amount that they want to raise, which is three hundred fifty thousand within the first twelve months. So it's going to it's going to exceed three hundred fifty-five three hundred fifty thousand in that last month. Okay, so there's the answer to question number three, part C, and that concludes this question. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region of the screen at the end of the video. That's for this paper. Other questions dealing with logarithms and modeling with logarithms can be found in the playlists over here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.